Hello friends, my name is Ilan from GIT Machinery Corporation LTD. Today we are going to be introducing and operating our GIT Matic Well Aligner GA600S. So stay tuned and enjoy. Place the transition bridge block between the turntable and big scissors lift platform. Then insert the turntable pin into the turntable. Park the car in the middle of big scissor lift. Confirm the left and right front wheels in the center of turntable. Center the steering wheel and lock it within the provided steering lock. Power on in end gear and confirm the vehicle parking system is unlocked. Put the rubber stoppers for the left rear tire. Bring the alignment machine GA600S to the center of the front bumper at a distance between 2 meters and 2.4 meters. Lock the casters of alignment machine cabinet. Install the targets and wheel clamps. Install the anti-slip rope. Attach the targets to the rims with the targets back arrow always pointed upwards. Make sure to use the same pinholes on the clamps for corners to grip to the rims. Turn on the alignment machine's power switch. Start the computer and run the software. Click alignment check icon. Select the vehicle. Check the tire pressure on each tire in accordance with OEM specs. Check the rims and tire size. Then input them to software. Check all four targets location on the screen. Make sure they are central symmetry. Make sure all four targets are reading the cameras on 21 white dots. Preset number of rays should be between 190 to 160. If not, adjust the exposure of the cameras by clicking the exposure button. Perform running out compensation. The left rear rubber stopper move backwards 30 cm. Follow the software tips to push and pull the vehicle within a distance of 25 cm. When the software tips stop, reset the rubber stopper. Now you can read the initial measurement results of camber and toe. Perform caster swing test. Remove turntable pin and transition bridge block. Put on the brake pedal lock provided and leave the vehicle on the parking brake. Follow the software tips to turn right and turn left within 10 degrees. Then follow the software tips to center the steering wheel. When the monitor displays plus minus 0.30 in green color means in the center position. Now you can read the initial measurement results of camber, toe and caster. Using the steering wheel holder to secure the steering wheel in center position and turn off the engine. Check and confirm the vehicle meeting the lifting conditions. Leave the vehicle to safety lock, which is in proper height for adjusting car. Now start adjusting the car suspension. Finish rear suspension adjustment, then to front suspension adjustment. Finish right rear adjustment, then to left rear adjustment. Finish caster adjustment, then to camber and toe adjustment. Until you're set the desired green zone readings. Make sure the difference between the right camber and left camber readings is not greater than 0.5 degree, even though both readings are in green zone. Similarly, make sure the difference between the right toe and left toe reading readings is not greater than 0.05 degree, even though both readings are in green zone. Save customer vehicle information. Press print button to generate the report form. Congratulations, you're done!